it's Amanda here from scrimpingmommy.co.uk I'm going to make um, a really simple project for you today using the Broadway Birthday um, Suite I do have the stamp set and the matching thinlets which are awesome, they do come in a bundle um, and just let me show you this, I love, just love it we have this huge word which says wish which is part of it, we've got this lovely frame we've got a fancy edging border, we've got um, balloons and string and bow there's loads of things, This is, I think this is for an ice cream I think we've got candles, we've got party hats, we've all sorts in here it's awesome so I'm just going to move that to one side and I will just quickly show you that the whole entire suite with everything coordinating is on page 68 and 69 and this is the suite that my um, July Stamping Selections kit is based on um, haven't advertised it massively because I'm wanting to close the order book in the next few days because I am going to Alaska on the Stamping Up incentive trip so if you do want one of my stamping selections for July you need to let me know as soon as possible um, you know uh, because I am closing the order book this week it will be done right so the chief colours that we're going to be using and that are in the suite are black lovely lipstick and lemon lime twists in there and we've got gold foiling okay I'll just quickly show you the lovely DSP although mine is in 6x6 six six because I got a paper share so on one side it's gold foiled gold and black and um, white and then on the other side you've got your bright colours you've got your lemon lime twist and it looks like there's a bit of grey in there or is it silver? don't know silver I think yeah and um, this is lovely lipstick so beautiful so what we're going to make is we're going to make a lovely money wallet now most of the ones that I've seen cause I did have a quick look on Pinterest most of the ones that I've seen are quite large because they were for American money well I'm from Yorkshire and I think five pounds more than enough if you're going to a kid's birthday party or you just want to give a, a close acquaintance or a non too close acquaintance rather just a quick gift or if you're feeling really generous put two or three of these in <laughs> I'm from Yorkshire you get one <laughs> So I've pre-cut the wish and it does cut the W and the ish separately. So I've pre-cut these in lovely lipstick. I have pre-cut my outer frame and when you cut it, it leaves you an inner like so. So I've cut it twice um, to get this white so I can put it inside like so. And that's about as far as I've planned it. <laughs> the rest of it's going to make it up as you go along so bear with me I've got a rough idea and I've cut a piece of black cardstock and this measures seven and a half by um, six and a quarter now I've scored it at three inches and I've scored it at six inches I'll leave the measurements on my blog so that will fold like so and like so it's very very simple okay very very simple but it's going to look awesome because we're going to decorate it now what we're going to do is we're going to put a tab there so this way up because you're going to idea that or you'll idea that maybe i don't know but we're going to put a tab here so using the envelope punch board i want to put my cardstock in up to the four inch mark and then i'm going to punch Okay, and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to just round off this corner by just putting it in line with the edge of this blue bit here. <laughs> if it's not quite right, you can always trim it again. It's not end of world. Right, so I've done with that now. So what I can now do is I can just, I'm just going to just round that ever so slightly. Could have just done it a little bit further over. But not to worry, I'll just nip it off so it's rounded and then we want to trim that part off. Um, I'm going to use my trimmer just so that it's nice and straight. Okay, so I'm just going to line up where the gap finishes there with my track on my trimmer and bring my cutter to there and that should just cut that away for me it's not terribly accurate just nip it off 
with your scissors don't matter if it's not perfect okay so now we want to line it with some DSP and what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to round those corners there as well now I'm going to use the triple this triple punch here because we've got the corner round there so if I slide that in and here slide that in could also use the envelope punch bad seeing as I add it out but I like to try and use this one right so that is the basis of our money wallet so now I want to line it so let me get my ruler out and let me get a pen and we'll work out and I'll show you as I'm doing it, I'm going to show you how I work out measurements, and it really is this simple. So I'm going to measure that. It's six and a quarter inch wide, so I'd write six and a quarter there. Okay, and I'm going to measure it on this narrow pattern. I'm ignoring the tab, and it measures one and uh, one eighth. So I want my strip to be slightly smaller than that, so I'm going to do it at three quarters of an inch. Okay. So I know that it wants to be six and a quarter, which it's not going to be, actually. Um, it's going to be six. And I'll tell you why, because my paper is six by six. <laughs> so it's going to be six inches by, by three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to use this one, I think. I think I like that one. Yeah. Let's have this all the way through. So it's already six inches wide. I'll just double check that it is. It's just slightly off, so I'm just going to trim it down. So six inches by three quarters of an inch, which is there. Okay. So that is for there. So let's just get that on. So I'm going to just use my Tombow and I'm going to try not to be heavy handed with it because it's black cardstock. I don't want the glue to blob all over the shop. We don't want that. Okay. So we're just going to put that and I've cut it quarter of an inch shorter so that it's got a nice board around because I want to be able to see the black cardstock and is that straight that'll do for me I'll just wipe that excess glue I, I, I'm too heavy handed with the Tombow I really am, I've got it on my foot oh your card now, I'll just wipe it on my shirt it doesn't matter <laughs> ok so that will fold up like so let me get my bone folder and just reinforce that crease and this one as well because this black card's quite thick. So now I'm going to work out my measurement for this top flap. So it measures um, three inches. It measures three by six and a quarter. It should bear by six and a quarter. So I want it quarter of an inch shorter, which takes it to six inches by two and three quarters. So that's what we want. Okay. Um Am I having this one again? I don't think I want this. Do I? Do I want this one? I don't know if I want a different one. I don't know if I fancy these numbers. I think I fancy these. I'm going to swap it up. Why not? So, six inches. Check my width. My width. Six inches. Hmm. Not, it's, it's just about, I've cut this paper probably wonker, by three quarters of an inch, by two and three quarters, I beg your pardon. I'll leave all the measurements on my blog, because you know, I am making them up as I'm going here. <laughs> but I like to show you crafting in real, in real time, you know, we don't always know what we're doing, do we, when we um, are putting things together. Um, so I like to try and represent real crafting and doing the measurements as you go. So I'm rounding the corners of this to match the fact that I've rounded the corners 
on my cardstock and now I'm going to I'm dotting it I'm going to dot it and then it won't smudge okay there we go dot 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 and the joy in these money wallets is that the construction of them is very basic and very easy which then means you can go to town with your decoration um, and that is the kind of project I like nice and simple and you can prettify it okay that's what I like right so that's on there nicely now so now all we need to do is just attach them sides uh, let me just check uh, I'm putting fiver in because I'm tight so I, that means I've got room for some red line tape rather than glue um, because the red line tape does hold nice and fast so we only want it up to the line as if we didn't have the tab not the, all the way up the tab and right close to the edge like so just snip that off and we will snip that off too and the only thing that I've pre-done is I've done the die cutting because I hate getting my die I hate getting my um, big shot out when I'm filming um, it, it takes up too much room right so I'll peel that back and it rocks my table <laughs> oh, it's, an, it's well annoying okay so now I'm just going to fold that back and that will nicely attach there and that's given me a lovely just little pot, little bit of a pocket just enough for a fiver you might fit a tenner in there I don't know Okay, if you're giving money to kids anyway, they'd rather have loads of fibres than a tenner, wouldn't they? Because they think they're richer. <laughs> There's another scrimpy tip. Give it them in small notes and then they feel like they've got more. Right, so now we're going to decorate this. Okay, so... <laughs> Gosh, I do waffle. So, I've got my... doodah there. Um, do I want a belly band? Do I want a belly band um, or do I want to tie it with some cord? I'm going to tie it with some gold cord. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my Tombow. I'm very carefully. I've got too much on there. I know I have. Let me, let me just wipe some off. I've got too much. I always do. And I'm just going to put this central. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm not going to overcomplicate things. Nice and central. Now you could stamp on there. There's some lovely stamps. Now I've got to attach this. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just very gently dot in between each of those dots there. Dot. Watch it come splodging out. No, it's, it's behaving. Now you can use the double sided, um, you know the sticky paper that you can run underneath your dice, uh, we do stock that. Um, in fact I don't know why I don't, I do, I've got some and I never think to use it. Okay, so we've got enough, enough glue dotted on there now. So now all I've got to do is line it up. So that my white part is on the inside and that lines up nicely because you know they've been cut out of the same frame now what you can do is attach gems on those um, in fact I might Dale I've got enough don't know don't know if I've got enough um, I am waiting on some gold metallic gems coming uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I don't think I've got enough, so I'm going to leave it plain. I'm going to have to leave it plain. But there are some metallic gems, uh, pearls, that you can put over, over those little holes. I'm happy with it as it is. It's alright. Now we're going to add our wish. Okay, make a wish. I'll do that. And the idea is, you know, it's a birthday gift, make a wish. Um, let's have a look at the stamps. In fact, we've got the make of the... Let's see how small that is. Can you tell I'm making it up? 
let's why not let's give it a try it might not stamp right now because i've got it already stuck on but i'm going to give it a go anyway so let me get it lined up on there it might it might all go to pot now oh well i can always do my film again can't it don't matter so as we're using lovely lipstick let's use it on the sentiment as well and let's see if I can stamp on here without making a dog's dinner of it okay and that doesn't look terribly straight to me that stamp let me just straighten that up okay oh my gosh this is wonky as a donkey there we go is that better? I think it is. Let me just make sure I don't have any ink on my hands before I go back to my project. And let's give that a tap and have a look. If that's straight, it'll do. It'll do. I might just put it on the wonk anyway. So we're going to stamp it on here, on the top. Yay! <laughs> that could have gone terribly wrong, but it didn't. Okay, I'll put that away now. So now we've got our wish words, Ooh, which is stuck to my mat. Oh dear. That's what you get for blobbing glue everywhere. Now I'm wondering if I can get away with using some very small dimensionals on there. I bet I can. Let's give it a go. Because after all, that is the whole idea of these mini dimensionals. So let's have a look if we can fit them in the centre of those larger letters, which we can. So there you go. Which means we can now have that. Oh, get off. Raised up. Oh, oh my goodness. I need to go and get my nails cut short. They're annoying me now. Right. Let's try a different dimension now. Because that one's not just not playing. It's just not cutting it. Let's try that one. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right. That's that one sorted. And let's get one on here. Can we put it there? Okay. Don't need loads. So. Peel that back in off. Make a, and we're going to have it just floating like so. Get off. You dirted my cardstock now. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, come on, get off. There we go. And there we go. We get there in the end. Just want to make sure you can't see that dimensional. So we'll have that just going across the money wallet like so. And there we go. I think that is really, really awesome. I love it. Super cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... It would be nice with some black satin ribbon, but I don't actually. Mine hasn't arrived yet. It's on order. Um, along with all of my kit items for my July kit, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I'm going to use just the gold card for now and I'm going to just tie it in a knot um, like so and then trim it if we can find me scissors there we go we're just going to trim it I'm not going to tie it in a bow because this card is quite um what's the word it's quite sturdy and quite thick so it's lovely for tying in knots it's lovely for making tags but I wouldn't try and tie it in a bow you'd end up in a in a you know it's not really for tying bows you might be able to i personally i'm not going to do that let me just cut that a tiny bit shorter so it looks more cute so it looks more cute oh, that looks cute okay so that's that bit now i would like to just add the little party hat um, you can stamp it and then you can die cut it 
but I think I might just go for an easier, slightly easier option. Let me just have a, let me just have a think. Can I be really clever and cut one out of here? I reckon I can. Just very quickly. Plus you cut one of these out. Takes no time at all, does it? I'll just cut round and round and then go back in and do the detailed bit in a minute. Speeds it up a bit. I just hit I didn't um do one of the hats beforehand and I hate getting my big shot out on camera. I just hurt it. But I love die cutting. I love that wish. I love the frame. Um as I say, I'm going to be doing some more projects using this, including some just standard cards, more than likely. Okay. I'm not the world's best at fussy cutting, but you know, I'm not Martha Stewart. <laughs> Right, so we've got our little hat. So let's get some a bigger dimensional on that one there, and then a small dimensional on the top of the hat just there because we want it to have lots and lots of dimension so it's nice and dimensional. <laughs> To be honest. Right. I'm just going to stick that. Where am I going to stick it? I can hear you saying, I can think of some way you can stick it. There you go. There we go. What a lovely project. Not bad to say I've just made it up. I hope you'll give it a try. I'll leave all the measurements and the list of all the products over on my blog at scrimpymommy.co.uk. You can just slip that off. And your money's still there. I hope you'll I'll hope you'll give it a try and I'll see you again soon.